It's 2021, and the greatest revival in history is coming soon. The greatest revival in history is described in end time prophecy. Daniel described the great revival in his end time prophecy. Yeshua, called Jesus, described the great revival in his end time prophecy. Daniel said the wise will lead many to righteousness. Yeshua prophesied that all Christians would wake up and the wise would understand. The time of the end began with 9-11 in 2001 with the U.S. War on Terror. This is a timeline of the seven seal prophecies of Revelation. The first prophecy was 9-11, the U.S. War on Terror. That began the time of the end. The next prophecy is the Iran War, which triggers all the things that are going to set up the greatest revival in history. And it's been prophesied in the Bible. It's coming very soon. All Christians wake up to the Messiah's return and the second seal Iran war of Revelation 6-4. They wake up when the Iran war happens. That's what sets up this greatest revival. The second seal Iran war is next. Then all Christians wake up to end time prophecy and the Messiah soon return. And as you can see, after that, there are five other seals that must be opened before the return of the Messiah. Plenty of time for a revival, but no time to lose. The wise will instruct many on righteousness and salvation. Where did Yeshua say that all Christians would wake up to his return? We call it the parable of the ten virgins, but it's really about Christians because when the time of the end began, Christians were waiting for Christ's return. Half of them were foolish and half were wise. The foolish had Bibles, but not the Holy Spirit. The wise had Bibles and the Holy Spirit. Christ was gone a long time and all Christians fell asleep. When the cry was heard from America, all Christians woke up and knew Christ was coming. The wise read Proverbs 6, 20 through 23 to see what they must do. The wise read Proverbs and understood, and that began the greatest revival in history. When Christians wake up, what must they do to prepare for his return? This is how God describes it in Proverbs 6. My son, keep your father's commands and do not forsake the law. Keep them forever. They will guide you. When you sleep, they will watch over you. When you wake up, they will speak to the wise, not to the foolish. God's word is a lamp. His teaching a light. Correction and instructions for eternal life. Here's some prophecy from Daniel. The words of the scroll, Revelation 6, were sealed until the time of the end. And then Daniel was told, many will go to and fro to increase knowledge. Those who are wise will lead many to righteousness. This is the revival. They will shine like the stars. Many will go to and fro to increase knowledge. People have been told this is about jet travel and the internet. It's not. To go to and fro is a Hebrew saying about searching scripture, going to and fro the lines of scripture with like a scribe's pen or pen or pointer. It's about studying the Bible to increase knowledge. Once again, these are the seven seals of Revelation. 
They span the time of the end. The second seal-Iran war is the next war. The first one was 9-11. Then all Christians will wake up to the end-time prophecy and the Messiah's return. The wise will understand. The foolish will not. The wise will instruct many in righteousness and lead many to righteousness. Soon, there will be a great Bible awakening to end time prophecy and Yeshua's return. It will happen when these prophecies are fulfilled. The Revelation 6-4 Iran War, Habakkuk 2-7 U.S. Economic Crisis, Matthew 25 when all Christians wake up. Now is the proper time to prepare. The wise will be able to instruct many and lead many to righteousness. The wise will understand. Daniel, the words of the scroll are sealed until the time of the end. Then many will be purified, made spotless and refined, but the foolish will continue to disobey Yehovah's commandments. None of the foolish will understand, but the wise will understand and they will lead this greatest revival. The words of the scroll, Revelation 6, were sealed until the time of the end. Many will go to and fro to increase knowledge. Many will search the scripture, going to and fro to increase knowledge. Those who are wise will lead many to righteousness. They will shine like the stars. This will be the greatest revival in history. It's prophesied in the Bible by Daniel and by Yeshua the Messiah called Jesus Christ. The wise will repent of man's ways and turn in obedience to Yehovah's commands, commandments, but the foolish will not. Daniel, the words of the scroll are sealed until the time of the end. Many will be purified, made spotless, refined, but the foolish will continue in their old ways. They will keep following the ways of men. None of the foolish will understand, but the wise will understand, and that's what will fuel this greatest revival. The wise have Yehovah's Holy Spirit. They understand God's word and will lead many to righteousness before Yeshua's return. The time has come is a it's like a travel plan, which takes us on a journey through the time of the end, from start to finish. It explains when the prophets indicate the time began and what God expects of his people so that they are able to make it into his millennial kingdom, the coming kingdom of God on earth. The time has come. The time has come when the wise will lead many to righteousness and eternal salvation. Here's how God describes eternal salvation and righteousness. If a righteous man turns from his righteousness and does evil, he will die for it. And if a wicked man turns away from his wickedness and does what is just and right, he will live by doing so. This is God's standard. It has never changed. It never will. 